questions here for Coach Mosman. First season underway? Yes. You know, I think the biggest thing, Chris, there was a lot of things that, you know, from a culture standpoint, we tried to change on, you know, on the floor, um, you know, work ethic wise, conditioning in the classroom. And, uh, you know, we feel like we've made strides, but we also feel like we still have a long way to go in a lot of those areas. Um, but I do think that, that for the most part, we've had really high buy in. Um, you know, but we understand starting tomorrow with the first practice that, that uh, the Mountain West is really difficult. And, um, you know, we have the Internet back in our office, and so we're able to read about what the national media is talking about. And we all know that, that San Diego State's got a great deal of talent. We know UNLV's extremely talented. We know, you know, Boise State, Utah State, uh, Fresno State, those three teams, a lot of media is talking about them being – you know, surprise teams. Uh, so we got our work cut out for us, and we, we've, we've got to do everything we can uh, mentally, physically, uh, to prepare for what, what's going to be a difficult season. You mentioned the buy-in. What has been the reaction to the players when you've asked a lot more of them you know, this year? I think they've been phenomenal. You know, it's, it's uh, when a new coach comes in, and an entirely new coaching staff, and, and – um, you know, there's a lot of different people that are new to them in their lives touching them. They've been phenomenal. Um, again, having said that, you know, it's, it starts for real tomorrow. And, uh, you know, when it starts for real, then roles start happening. And, you know, I've been around a lot of basketball, and there's a lot of teams right now that feel really good about themselves. And that's how it is. There's a lot of NBA teams that feel good right now. There's a lot of college teams that feel real good. But when shots, minutes, rolls, it's how you respond uh, to those type of things that really make a true team. Because we're going to lose a game. When we lose a game, how are we going to respond? Are we going to respond in the proper way? Um, and so all those things are challenges that, that, that lay ahead of us. And it's our job to try to manage those things to the best of our ability. I mean, I think, you know, the way that the NCAA rules are, we've had an opportunity to be around these guys. And, um, you know, although we've, we've been limited uh, in two-hour weeks, at, you know, sometimes since we've been here, we've had our full team for two hours a week. So at other times, it's been two hours a week in four-man groups. Um, and, and, you know, this week we've had our whole team, although limited, uh, we've done 40-minute segments three days this week. So... Um, we've, we've been practicing. It's just been a little bit limited, you know, and now those restrictions, the handcuffs kind of come off and you're able to, to really dig deep with your, with your team. And, um, but we put a lot of stuff in in a very short time. Um, so I think mentally they've been able to handle a lot of the new things that we've done. Um, but there's going to be a lot more things coming at them at rapid pace once tomorrow hits. You know, I, I, I think the biggest thing right now is, is the willingness to be coached. That's probably the number one uh, attribute, you know, that's been a surprise to us is their willingness to, uh, you know, to be coachable and willingness to have an open mind and an open heart. Because um, this is a definite culture change for a lot of the guys, you know. Uh, to run the mile, to do some of the stuff that we've done, which maybe, you know, I take for granted. For some of our guys, it's, it's, it's difficult. Um, and so that's a work in progress. Why, why did you do things like the boot camp and the bonding exercises? That's all I've been used to. The people that I've worked for, from Chuck Daly to Mike Fratello, uh, Hubie Brown, it's, that's how you do things. You get ready for the season. Uh, you make players uncomfortable. Uh, to get them in the proper condition and get them ready to play uh, games. And so that's the only way that I've ever been around. I haven't been around a country club atmosphere getting ready for a season. So it's the only way that I know how to do it. Um, but again, I think that is, it is new for many of our players. You mentioned looking at national articles about the Mountain West. A lot of those don't even mention about it. Is that 
No one mentions Nevada. <laughs> I mean, I you know I think that's something for the players, you know, Chris, because it's it's some of these guys have been here for going on four years, so um, you know I think that, that that they have a lot of pride, um, but we haven't done anything, so we shouldn't be mentioned right now, and we understand that, so it's it's uh, you know it's our job to try to try to change people's opinion, and you know the biggest thing is you want to get respect, you want your own fans to respect you. You want the opposing teams to respect you. You want the referees to respect you. And you want the national media to respect you. So all those things, they're only going to come over time, whether it's you know, when we're in Hawaii and we start gaining respect or whether it's at some point in the season um, you know, that people respect the type of team that we have and that with the type of effort and energy and enthusiasm that we play with. It's open, so you can come check them out. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we, we like to, to try to keep things moving. Um, you know, anytime you're teaching a new system or a new style, it kind of slows things down. So we hope in 10 days to, to two weeks that this thing's moving, you know, at a rapid pace. We don't like a lot of standing around. But having said that, you know, probably for the first 10 days to two weeks, there will be a little bit of standing around because we do have a lot of a teaching to do from from a schematic standpoint, both offensively, defensively, and then with the, with our special teams, meaning baseline out of bounds, side out of bounds, uh, free throw situations, all those things that we deem special teams. It's going to take a little bit of time to teach some of the things that we want to do. You run a lot of teams at a lot of different levels. Is this still different? Um, and I guess also the college. Yeah, I don't. I, you know, I don't think it feels different just because the last three years, having been at Arizona State for two years and then at LSU last year. So, um, you know, being around the, the, the college student athlete, I don't, I don't think there's anything new. I think that our expectations that we have, what we're going to put them through is, uh, you know, things that we did last year at LSU. So I don't think that there's a whole uh, lot of learning curve from our end as a coaching staff. Obviously, the three assistant coaches, uh, have a great wealth of knowledge being at the college level, so I, I think that you know what we're giving our guys is is what most high-level programs feed them as far as schemes and so forth. What do you expect to be your strengths? I don't think we know right now. You know, I think that when you look at our ball club and we were second from the bottom in all of uh, Division One from three-point shooting, obviously. Uh, our opponents knew where that, that that was a weakness. And so we've spent a lot of time when the guys have done individual skill development on their own. We've, we've, we've tried to build them up uh, from a confidence standpoint on their three-point shooting. And, um, you know, we've, we've set up drills to try to help them in that, those situations. And, you know, are we a running team? We want to be a running team. Are we in good enough physical condition? Um, you know, right now we're not in good enough physical condition to be a running team. We, we gave them, you know, a, a, a mild test that, that, that we've done with all the teams that I've been with. And, and, and uh, some guys have been able to do it and some haven't. So, um, you know, to play the style we won't want both offensively and defensively, we're not there yet. But having said that, it's also one day before the start of the first practice. Well. We ask our bigs to do it in under six and our guards to do it under 545. We actually made it 15 seconds easier than, than, than what it'll be next year. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not anything that a lot of other places aren't doing. A lot of other places actually have a little bit higher standards than, than what we set this year. And, and even at the standards we've set, that's, that's been difficult for some of our guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm ready. Um, it's been a long summer, um, busy summer, emotional summer. Um, and all I have in my head is that last loss against UNLV and uh, being at the press conference crying. So I'm ready to get going, man. Have you been through an off season like this? Um, I mean, not since I've been in college, no. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely one of the toughest uh, off seasons I've had. Um, 
even before college. So um, I, I can't say I have. Um, I, I mean, we'll find out. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to being the vocal leader on defense. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to getting easy points um, on the fast break and getting easy points with uh, steals. Um, also, I want to um, be extremely solid at the free throw line. So, um, you know, with that said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be ready to do what the coach says. So. Um, <clears throat> the hardest part would probably just be just the, the, the overall change. Um, I mean, it's been difficult to, to get our, you know, to get physically ready. Um, he's, he's, our standards are, are very high and he's demanding a lot, which is great. Um, but just, just the overall change coming from transition from a old coaching staff to a new coaching staff, um, probably just the toughest part. I think we're much closer as a team. Um, we've been holding uh, team bonding events. Uh, we've we've been around each other more. We we like each other a bit more than last year. Uh, so, um, you know, a lot has just changed as far as the uh, team chemistry goes. Why do you feel like everyone's bought in? I mean, there really weren't a lot of transfers. Only one. <coughs> it seems like everybody's on the same page. Yeah, I think it's because of our leader, Coach Mus. Um, I just feel like. You know, he makes us want to buy in. Um, although he does demand a lot, we understand uh, where he's been, um, and we understand that he's coached um, at the level that we want to play at. So, um, for us not to buy in, we just it would just not make any sense. Uh, we we're in a perfect position. We have a, a a great coach to to learn from and and to pick his mind. So, I, I really think that's just the reason why we're all want, wanting to buy in. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a chip on our sh shoulder, but at the same time, I feel like we just want to start fresh. Like we just want to start new. Um, obviously, we don't we don't have the the accolades or, or you know the record to show that you know Nevada is somebody to be reckon a team to be reckoned with at this moment in time. Um, but at the same time, it does put a chip on our shoulder. Uh, but we're just we're just ready to go. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely new to us, um, but we're, we're, we definitely see how it's how it's um, about to unfold. Um, we know we want to get up and down the court quickly. Uh, we know we need to play defense. Um, you know, we we want to have a fast pace uh, tempo, and, and like Coach said, in order to do that, we need to be in physical shape. Um, so, you know, it's early. Um, we do have a good, nice, you know, look into it, but I, I feel like it's really getting ready to unfold for us. What is boot camp? Um, boot camp. Uh, it's like 6 a.m. every day. Um, I mean, and, and a lot of running. We just ran <laughs> nonstop. Some dudes threw up, you know. It's uh, one of those summers. So, um, and then on top of that, there's a lot of um, strength training um, also at 6 a.m. Uh, it was just a whole bunch of stuff and a lot of running. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't too difficult for me, but yeah, I did. Are you more excited entering this year than the last couple of years, or is um, it a similar feeling to this entering this season? No, I'm more excited. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Can't even put it in, a, in the words for you. Um, it's, it's just a new feeling, a uh, new camaraderie, new team, it feels like. Um, so, yeah, I'm extremely excited. Very say you guys weren't the best of friends last year as a team then, or? Um, yeah, honestly, it is to say, it's, it is fair to say that. Um, and, and it kind of showed on the court as far as, you know, the loss, wins and loss column. But um, we're definitely much closer this year. We just, we've just been able to spend more time with each other and, um, just we've been able to spend more time with each other off the court. 
um, whether it's at somebody's house playing video games or going out to eat uh, for dinner. We've just been spending a lot of uh, quality time with each other. Questions for uh, senior Lucas Stevens. Final season starts up tomorrow. I mean, we should get all together tomorrow. Just your thoughts? How you I'm ready. Been ready since March of last year. Ready to roll. What's this offseason been like for you? It's been a grind mentally, getting through some of the 6 a.m. the boot the boot camp and whatnot. But I mean, it's all gotten us in shape, and we're ready to go. We're, we're focused. You feel like the um, climate around the team and the culture is different, and I guess if so, how? But it's definitely changed. I mean. Guys are now going in on their own, getting extra work, extra shots up. Um, they're just, we're, we're all putting in more time. We're getting more focused. Yeah, everyone's laser focused. Everyone is. You've been around Coach Musselman for a little while now. I guess how would you describe him as a coach and his personality and you know, why it seems like people have to buy into what he's trying to sell? Well, people are buying into what he's selling because we know where he's been and we know that if we put in the work, we can uh, achieve that level. Like we, we will be there. So it's just a, it's just now it's us putting in the work, and that's been the focus. It's been us putting in the work, and we we've been doing that. Where do you see yourself as a role on this team? Roles are still being defined. My role is one of the seniors to be a voice, a leader, um, along with uh, Marquise, Tyron, Chriswell, and AJ West. We're the seniors. We have to lead this team. Coaches emphasize that to us. Um, he also wants us to just work hard and keep competing. It seems like there's a renewed energy with the team this year. I mean, do you feel do you feel that? I mean, are, are you more, would you say you're more excited this season than maybe last year? Most definitely. Most definitely. There is such a change in the atmosphere. Like. I can't. I can't tell you how much I, I'm waiting to play games this year. Like it is. Yeah, I'm ready for it. It's a lot of fun. Was this the hardest off season you guys were put through, just as far as the physical demands and what, what was being? Oh done? yes. Oh yeah. The, there was such a grind this summer, between the weights, the conditioning, 6 a.m. boot camp. It all was a grind, but we all got through it. We're all ready to roll. Made you more uh, prepared. Oh yeah. Well, we. I mean, we have to. We have to be more in the best physical condition that we can be because of Coach Muss's style of play. He likes that running gun, run and gun system. So that's that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. Is be in the best condition so we can actually play at that level. As you guys start practice tomorrow, you start to form your identity. I guess what what is the identity of this team? Um, what do you want that to be? And what is what have the coaches told you they want that to be? Well, obviously, we want the winning identity. So, I mean, I guess that's what we're going to strive for, trying to do everything the right way, the way Coach Moss wants us to do, and hopefully that will lead to a winning equation. Uh, a constant question with you has been the weight. Have you added more weight this season? No, I have not. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I, I, I have ma maintained my weight, though. That boot camp was tough to get through, though. But yeah, I have maintained my weight.